जय भगवान शांति कैन यू एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वेदांत एंड क्वांटम फिजिक्स या वेदांत इज ओल्ड एंशिएंट फिलॉसफी ऑफ इंडिया इट इज द एंड पार्ट ऑफ वेदा वेदांत टीचेस द रियल फिलॉसफी ऑफ वेदा वेदांत सेस ब्रह्मन इज रियल एंड एंटायर यूनिवर्स इज इल्यूशन इट इज माया सो वेदांत सेस ईश्वर इज कॉन्शियसनेस एंड माया इज इल्यूशन कॉस्मिक इल्यूशन सेम वे सांख्य फिलॉसफी सेस सेम थिंग पुरुष एंड प्रकृति पुरुष इज कॉन्शियसनेस एंड प्रकृति इज नेचर क्वांटम फिजिक्स सेस एंटायर यूनिवर्स इज नथिंग बट सुप्रीम कॉन्शियसनेस एंड एवरीथिंग अदर देन कॉन्शियसनेस इज नथिंग बट एनर्जी वाइब्रेशन एंड वेव्स एवरीथिंग एंटायर यूनिवर्स इज लाइक एम्प्टी स्पेस so vedanta says everything is illusion illusion means not illusion in a real sense it is cosmic illusion so that we believe it to be real how can you explain for example somebody says a dream is illusion but when you are dreaming dream is real dream is illusion only after you wake up so same way entire universe is illusion when you wake up into spiritual consciousness so everything is illusion illusion means everything you see anything that has a name and forms are not real they are real, relatively real in specific time and space but in reality that is not real nama means form and rupa means a structure so rupa is like human being cattle insect these are different rupas or different forms they are not real because body changes everything changes everything that is created changes so physical structure is constantly changing what is nama nama is a name you can give the name somebody human being asian african american these are the names we can give different name for water different language so name is illusion because water remains the same regardless of how we call it so vedanta's concept everything is illusion means nothing is real it is real for time being what is real is consciousness we existed as consciousness before we were born we exist as consciousness while we function through our body and senses and we continue to exist as consciousness after we die so quantum physics gives the great idea that and validates what ancient scriptures and ancient rishis or seers in india explain mm-hmm. everything is illusion so rishis say strive for perfection and recognize that you are perfect use your body senses and mind as instrument quantum physics says the same thing but it doesn't provide any tools how to find liberation one can become expert on quantum physics and can describe the molecule and essence behind molecule but they can not give you the ways to find happiness so yogi is provided the guidance to find true bliss by recognizing so world is called maya everything existing in the world is maya maya that binds us because of that it produces illusion same maya can be utilized to come out of the illusion something that binds can also release so world is considered like a school so we use the school to graduate from the world to wake up from maya jai bhagwan namaskar shanti